Heidi, why would anybody want a dot .travel URL? I think first and foremost, it's clear branding and messaging for anyone that's in the travel or hospitality industry. Um, however, what we're finding as a, a, a convenient accident for uh, dot .travel is that it is optimizing in search engines uh, incredibly. Um, it doesn't take uh, a genius to figure out that if travel is one of the keywords that people are putting in a search engine that we're finding incredible matches. Um, if you're looking for travel to London and the URL is londontours.travel, you're already matching many different keyword combinations. London tours and travel. Uh, search engines don't necessarily read uh, other extensions such as .com, .com, .uk, but they do read travel and what it really means. Okay, so if it's that, uh, if it, if it's that good and that popular, why have you got a job? Why do I have a job? Because our number one competitor is .com. .com has 77 million outstanding websites. And with that many websites, it's hard to find anything. And I think all of us, when we're searching for travel information, car information, health information, that it's taking us a tremendous amount of time to search through the millions of results that come back. And what we're seeing with um, not only the governing body of the Internet, ICANN, that they're starting to structure the Internet into an information source that both myself and you are familiar with, the library, and having category-specific extensions. And Dot .travel is a pioneer in this, and we're seeing other people that are going to be following suit. Cool. And do you have any major success stories that you could tell me about at the moment? I would say most recently um, at the World Tourism Day, which was at the end of September, we had the UNWTO who launched Climate Solutions, which uh, is based on a dot .travel URL, climate solutions dot .travel. We're also seeing large destinations moving this way, Argentina dot .travel and El Salvador dot .travel. And what does the future hold? I mean, are your are destinations beating their door to you to get their countries registered as dot .travel? I think that we're seeing the progression towards conversion is, is significant, significantly rising. Um, we do still have a long road ahead of us. We uh, don't expect the conversion to be overnight, but using them for strategic marketing initiatives, using them as dual sites, micro sites, we're seeing people to start adopting that as well as email addresses because many email addresses don't communicate what your business does, but if it ends in dot travel, you know you're in the travel business.